Hi y'all, it's Jaya and I am about to show you my attempt at using the corn cornier hot sticks. Alright. So they come in two different sizes. I'm using 12 of them because I'm missing two. So that'll be what six sections on each side. Stay tuned to see how my straightened natural hair reacts. This is this is what my hair looks like. I am about to split it into two sections and lightly detangle. My hair is about what 20 days after silk press now so it's pretty stiff and old looking so I'm about to try to give it some life I put it in two sections and now I'm about to split one of the sections in half so I could do my first three in the front that's what it looks like So, as you can see, I detangled a little with a wide tooth comb, and you know, I'll even go and finger detangle before. I'm very, very cautious with my hair. So, now I'm going to wrap the ends. The ends was like the hardest part with this. This is my first time doing it, so <laughs> this is definitely a video of me learning. All right, and after you're done rolling it up, you pull it into the loop. Not too tight to where you break off your hair. And I didn't use any product because when I put heat in my hair, the curl holds. So no product needed. I do the daily maintenance that I usually do. Um, you can go and check out my how to maintain straight and natural hair video if you would like to see how that goes all right and once again I'm wrapping the ends making sure the ends are tucked correctly because if these ends come out wrong I'm gonna be so mad the curl is not gonna look good and pull there it is I'm going to show y'all another example in the back. I'm finger detangling. Then I detangle with the comb a little. Here we go. Wrap the end. Roll it up. And this is for a really loose curl. My second attempt. I'll experiment on spiral curls. That'll be my next experiment with these rollers. And I'm putting the end through the loop. Excuse the weird face. All right, so I put my hair in the plastic cap and I sat for 10 minutes. This is me removing. And as you can see, the curl is very defined at the end. So next time, I definitely want to roll it all the way like that. Because I really like the way the curl looks at the end. But overall, it's, it's, it's decent. Let's see how it looks. After I'm finished. As you can see, a nice curl.
That one came out kind of funky. That was the first one I did. <laughs> it should blend in with the others though since it's a bang piece. I just need to swoop it. No biggie. I know better next time. Almost forgot. All right, so I'm done taking them out. Now I'm about to play with it. So basically, style it. And I'm going to see how long this lasts because a problem I've been having with my straight hair is that it falls as soon as I put curls in. So I'm hoping that the heat helps my curls last a little longer. I'm finger detangling, being very gentle. So um, please like and subscribe if you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see my next videos, I post every day. My next video is definitely going to be about the maintenance of these curls and seeing if they lasted longer than a day or a few hours, you know? I'm pretty sure they'll last longer than a few hours. And I'm styling, just styling. There it is. Looks like I found the position I liked in my part. And I'm combing, okay. <laughs> Forgot about that part. But yeah, this will definitely add just volume to my hair. So it can frame my face better. Being very gentle with the ends. There it is. <laughs> I like it. I like the shape a lot. Very nice curls. Alright, thank you so much, you guys. Have a good one. Please subscribe and like once again. Goodbye.